Hello, hello, welcome to my studio and welcome to this video. This week I thought I would talk about a travel sketchbook. And the reason I'm going to talk about a travel sketchbook is because I'm going on holiday tomorrow. So I was just packing up some of my art supplies and some of the things that I'm going to take with me. So I've put everything in this pencil case. And so I don't really want to take loads of supplies. I'm going to Portugal for a friend's wedding. So lots of our friends will be there. So it's not an art holiday, but I always like to have a sketchbook available for those moments when you're waiting around or, you know, when you're sat at the airport or sat waiting for a train or on the train. So this is the sketchbook that I am going to take with me. And every page I have prepared with interesting sort of ink smears and smudges. And it didn't look like this yesterday. <laughs> As I was packing my things, the sketchbook looked like this. And I just thought to myself, do you know what? I want to make this sketchbook feel like a inviting creative space. And so I got my ink and my paints out and made a bit of a mess and had the best amount of fun painting this sketchbook. So I did this all yesterday, the whole thing. If you're a perfectionist, I would look away now. <laughs> <laughs> because it's messy and scrappy and you know the pages are just covered with ink drips and smudges and interesting marks and I just think it'll be a really fun place to create because the page has already got something interesting on it so I could probably just do the smallest doodle on one of these pages and hopefully it would look interesting. I really just smeared all of the pages with a variety of different inks. Now, if you've done my sketchbook love, my free sketchbook class, you will know that this is a technique that I like to use. Get rid of that white page. So I've used a mixture of different coloured inks. I've used acrylic ink from Liquitex in a few colours, super duper neon pink ink from De La Rowney, FW Ink and a little bit of Indian ink from Jackson's Art that I buy in these big bottles and they last forever. And I paint the outside of the sketchbook just with some heavy body acrylic paint, which may have been a mistake because the sort of fabric-y cover has bobbled a little bit where the water or the wetness of the paint has sort of reacted with the cover. But I still quite like the effect. And because I have got all these sort of great, colourful, patterned, activated pages now, I'm just taking the simplest of drawing materials with me. And so I basically wanted everything to fit into this pencil case. So my sketchbook and all my art supplies. So it's just a, a little travelling companion. I've got some white pens. There's a couple of the pages are quite dark. That one, for example, might like to draw over them with white pen. So I've got a new set of white pens from a brand called Kuritaki. So I'm going to take them for a bit of a test drive. I love the effect of white pens, but they can often be a bit tricksy. What else am I taking? I'm going to take a glue stick and a small pair of scissors, which are not in my pencil case yet, but they will be before tomorrow. I'm going to take my Pentel pocket brush pen, which is a brush pen that I just love and use all the time. So I'm going to take that with some refills. So it's a pen that comes with refills. So I've got some refills with me. So I've got some fine eyeliner pens from Pigma, Micron, um, one from Unipin. Just grabs the fine eyeliner pens that I have lying around and a couple of pencils. I like a 9B pencil, which is super smudgy and dark, and a pencil sharpener. I might also just take a few coloured pencils, not a full set. I'll just grab a random set of colours, and that's all I'm gonna take. I'm not gonna take any wet materials at all. My philosophy when travelling with art supplies is that I like to make it simple. <laughs> and reduce any friction. So I often think, what will make it easy for me to create in my sketchbook? What is the easiest materials that I can use? So it might be a pencil or just a simple pen. I was thinking, what do I want to do in this sketchbook when I'm away? 
I probably won't necessarily draw the landscape or the architecture, although I might, but often on holiday I have good ideas. So I thought I might try and combine some drawing with some writing and I'm going to take glue and some scissors in case there's some interesting receipts or some interesting patterned papers or some, you know, things that I come across on holiday, the kind of detritus and the paper that you gather that I might stick in and draw over. So that is the intention and I will come back and I will let you know <laughs> what I've done in this sketchbook. And you know, it might sit in my suitcase for the whole holiday and never see the light of day. But I think because it feels like a really interesting, exciting place to work, I think I'm much more likely to work in it. So I will show you on my return. Hello, hello, I'm back from a holiday. I came back last night and I thought I would show you what I have done in my sketchbook and I am amazed that I have filled up this sketchbook. So this is a Stillman and Burn sketchbook and I think it has 26 double page spreads. I think I've put something on every page, yes I have, which is phenomenal. I didn't spend very much time working in my sketchbook at all uh, because I was too busy having fun with my friends, but I did manage to snatch the odd 10 minutes here, waiting for my husband to get in the shower, that kind of time frame. And I found it to be a really interesting place to create. And I think the ink marks and in each page already having something interesting on it just meant that I didn't have to add very much to create a, a page. So on some of the pages, I've just put some marks and some scribbles. It was a really lovely place to hang out. So I've done some little drawings. I was interested in some palm trees that were outside our window. I've drawn some vases of flowers, just some things from my imagination. There's quite a few things that repeat themselves in this sketchbook. There's like an orange spot that sort of represents the sun which seems to be on every page. And I think that's because there was such a beautiful sunset in Portugal. And I think this sketchbook is not a traditional travel sketchbook in the sense that I'm drawing what I'm seeing and it's a representation of our holiday from a visual point of view, but it is a representation of some of the things I was thinking about. I often find that when I take a break or have a rest, then I have interesting thoughts about, you know, life. And uh, so I, wrote them down and collected some quotes and some things that were resonating with me. So I made I made a list of important things for me to remember. Things like, you know, seek joy, create joy, cultivate joy, just some notes to myself. Be weird, wild and wonderful. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that, shall we? I was reading some poetry from the American poet Mary Oliver. So I gathered some of her words of wisdom. And my goodness, she's such a beautiful poet. And so I just thought I'd maybe share some of those things with you. She's written, Instructions for Living a Life. Pay attention, be astonished, and tell about it. I just think that's lovely. That's what I'd like to do in my life. Pay attention, be astonished and tell about it. And on some of the pages, I've done really very little. I failed to find any interesting papers on my journey, mostly because I was just, you know, eating. <laughs> 
there was a notepad in, there was like a letterhead notepad in the hotel, which I cut up and stuck in. So it was just a really lovely place to hang out. And I really like what happened. You know, some of these pages have just got hardly any, anything on them at all. This was a response to some boats, some moored boats. And I really just did the simplest of black shapes and an orange pencil circle. So I would really recommend having prepared the sketchbook before heading off. It just felt like a really low key, low stakes, you know, I could just do a few scribbles on a page. And because of the combination of the precision of the drawing and the cleanness of the line over that sort of smudgy ink, it just made for, I think, quite interesting pages. So I'm astonished that I filled up the sketchbook, but also, it was a good reminder that actually you don't need to spend a lot of time to nurture the creative spark. So I did spend time on the two days we were traveling. So it was a really good traveling companion when you're bored at the airport or on a train. A lot of the things in this sketchbook are not precise because it <laughs> the train was moving or the airplane was moving, uh, but I really, like what happened in this sketchbook and I'm so glad that I took it with me. But even if you spend a few moments observing and drawing, it becomes embedded in your psyche. So I think it's just a lovely record of a really lovely holiday. And because I only took dry drawing materials, it was super easy just to do a five minute drawing on one page, another drawing on another page, not having to wait for anything to dry or have water or clean brushes. So it just meant that I could do 10 minutes at a go. And I think I really, I really like what happened and I'm really pleased that I spent, you know, an hour or two preparing the sketchbook before I went. But I'm also just amazed that I filled it in a, in a week where I really didn't spend very much time in it. And I think it's a good reminder that a tiny bit here and there, again and again, adds up, doesn't it? A travel sketchbook can be so many things. And I think for me, it's a collection of shapes and marks and thoughts and observations and a few tiny drawings from observation. It's a lovely memento for me of a really special holiday. And I think, you know, whenever I look back on this sketchbook, it will remind me of that time. And there's something really special about that, isn't there? It's perhaps not the most traditional of travel sketchbooks, but I think the thing about a sketchbook is that you can do anything you want in it. And I have done scribbles and marks and notes and stuck a few things in and just had fun with it and really low expectations. And I think having all these sort of wonderful marks and smears and ink stains already in the sketchbook just made it a really interesting, exciting place to hang out. And I did because of that. So I'm really pleased that I filled the sketchbook and really surprised and delighted. And there are things in it that, that I think I will, you know, there are tiny little fragments in it that I might take forward into other things or other paintings. My lasting thoughts are that a travel sketchbook doesn't have to be observational drawing of where you are, although it could be. It's a snapshot, a mirror of a point in time where you might be gathering thoughts, you might be gathering experiences, you might be gathering colours or marks. And I just think it's important that our sketchbook reflects us and that we make working in a sketchbook more like play <laughs> and have really low low expectations of what might happen and then maybe we might delight ourselves with what we actually achieve and what turning up on the page can actually give us. <laughs>